So we have a LG smartwatch, uh, Urbania 2, and it doesn't uh, charge, it doesn't turn on, so let's see what's inside. I suspect uh, water damage, but let's see. Okay, to open up, uh, you need to have a small Torx, small Torx on uh, 5, and first of all, remove the handles, so you could access the uh, okay, the handles is not necessary to, to remove, but it makes your life definitely, definitely easier. So, it's only four, four screws. And yeah, the handles has integrated antennas, so be careful with that. You need to just slightly go side to side and oh, this one popped out without really trying too hard interesting if it's good and then this side is a little bit harder ah. okay Looks good. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, it's not needed to remove the back cover. In principle, everything what holds it is a uh, small glue, 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 glue uh, perimeter with a uh, foam in, in it. So it's uh, foam with with glue. And yeah, that's that's it. And uh, four uh, latches on, on somewhere in these sides. So let's let's see if uh, yeah. And then it seems that this uh, back cover is made of plastic. So yeah, you can hear clearly that it's it's plastic one. Okay. In principle, all what you need to do is just insert something sharp enough, plastic or, or metal. Yeah, not sure if it's possible to save the the, the foam, but in principle we just la twisted and one of the latches came out. So let's make it on the other side. Up the next one, and then just push it up slightly, and we can turn it on with the plastic removal tool from the sides. Okay, this one's it. And from this side too. Yeah, so you can see this foam material is just breaking apart in principle, so not possible to reuse it maybe if it will be heated up but i don't think that it would help to remove it without without damaging it up okay and that's it that's the back cover as you see the four latches and Around the perimeter, it has this foam glue material. So, as of the inside of the watch, we have this. Um, yeah, what do we have? Four screws. One, two, three, and fourth is, I believe, hidden beneath this black. Oh, hey, here it is. 
the magnet magnet here and the magnet came off and mm -hmm. I can place it back in this place so this is these left two are the magnets that hold the charging cable uh, or at its place yeah okay let's let's unscrew some more screws this is a simple Philips a small small one but but a Philips uh, uh, head Okay, then we have um, some some ribbon cables. One of them is down here. Mm -hmm. and this one I believe is the buttons ribbon cable. And then some more. And the more interesting one is here, down here. This is the battery connector. And uh, this is this protective shield holding the battery cover tuning, the battery ribbon. Okay, let's let's remove one more. Let's see if I yeah, can remove this easily too just to get access to the ribbon cable simple protection armor should you have it more beautiful for sim card insertion okay one two three four and i believe that's it four ribbon cables and you can take out the whole main board out here it is. <clears throat> yeah, it would be interesting. Well, well, maybe I'll try to remove this shielding and see what's what's beneath this. So the other side. Yeah, not much to see because of the shieldings, but because of the rest, yeah, this uh, this uh, this is the power cable uh, with with a plus on the inside, I believe, and minus on the outside, and here some more ribbon cables haven't haven't tried to go deeper with the tear down but okay let's see maybe i will need to go deeper so then i will film it too